come together. Now you have this roadmap. Now you have the different little, these little steps that you need to take each day to achieve that thing within the week, within the month, within the three months, within the six months, within the year. You've already, you've created your plan. Now it's just executing that plan. Below this post, once it gets posted, I'm going to put a link. And if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about this material, I'm inviting you to come to one of my vision workshops, which I usually hold on Mondays, uh, the first, first and third Monday of every month. So on the website, there will be a spot for you to sign up and give me your email and your information, and I'd be glad to invite you to a Zoom event, which lasts about an hour and a half or so, and goes a little bit deeper into this information about dream building and how to overcome our paradigms. And paradigms, that's our topic for today. What the heck is a paradigm? Well, a paradigm is like a limiting belief. It can be, but really a paradigm is a habit of thinking, a way of thinking of how we view the world, how we look at things. And we learn them over time. When we're a little kid, we learn them from our parents. Then later we learn them at school. Then we learn them just from society. And a lot of them are the things that say, um, you know, be like everybody else. Don't venture out on your own. And they're the things that want to keep us safe, especially when we're going after a big dream. So paradigms don't normally show up when we're just living the status quo. They show up when we decide that we're going to do something bigger and better with ourselves and we're going to go after a dream. And then all of a sudden, they sneak in and they're very sneaky. Paradigms don't say, I'm here, I'm here to kill your dream. Oh, no. Paradigms come in and say, well, are you sure you want to do it now? Is this the right time? Are you, are you sure you can do it? Are you the right person to do this? So paradigms are sneaky little things. And we need to be able to replace them. That's how you get rid of paradigms. You can't actually just say, I'm not going to think that anymore. It doesn't happen. Because they're always there. So you have to acknowledge them. And you have to replace them. Or some, in a way, you almost have to talk to them. And you say, almost like a fear, how you talk to your fear. You say, okay, fear, okay, paradigm, I hear what you're saying to me. And I understand you're trying to keep me safe. But I, I can do better now. I can do this. I'm capable of doing this. And you replace that paradigm with a new thought. Like, I am capable you know, we're silly humans here on this earth. And we don't even realize how powerful we are. You know, we look out at nature and we say, oh my God, nature is so beautiful. The sunset's so majestic. The trees and the flowers are so beautiful. The ocean and the, and the beach, it's just awesome. And then we look at ourselves and we put ourselves down. But we are a fantastic being. And in fact, we're more than just our human being. We're a spirit, a, an infinite spirit, experiencing a human experience. You know, as my mentor Mary Morrissey says, we don't even breathe ourselves. If we were responsible for remembering to take a breath all the time throughout the day, we'd all be gone. We don't circulate our blood through our body. We don't, we don't, do all we don't even can't even imagine all the things that our body can do and we're not even in charge of it life this um, energy source life source god is controlling all of the things inside of us so we're an infinite being in this physical body and yet we limit ourselves to the physical oh i can't do that i can't think that I can't smell that. I can't taste that. You know, we look at just what's physically around us and we don't think about all the other things that we have. You know, we have our five senses that help us interact with this physical world. Our sight, our hearing, our smell, our taste, our feelings, right? But we have other senses as well. Just a couple of them. Our, our imagination, 
her intuition, that, that feeling that says, you know, pay attention. Our will, to give us not willpower that we're going to push it through, but our will, to give ourselves a command and follow through with it for our own good and well-being. So we're silly humans thinking we can't do these things when we're so powerful and we're connected with all the energy in the world. You know, as Deepak Chopra says, we are made of the same stuff and dust as stars. We all come from that same dust, whatever created this world. We're all part of it. The universe, the whole universe, the stars, we're part and made of that same thing. And so I want you to consider that. What are you telling yourself? Think about it. Are you telling yourself that you can't go after the dreams you want? Or are you giving yourself the power that you have and telling, overriding that paradigm by telling yourself something more important that you are capable and we're all capable of going after what we want. So I hope you got the message today. It's a little long-winded, but um, learn a little more. Come join me in a vision workshop and I'd be glad to go into this deeper with you. But until then, Know that you're invited. Thanks. Thanks for listening.